Hello ladies, so tonight we're talking brows and I'm really excited to share this with you because I will be the first one to tell you that when I started this business, I did not know how to do brows at all. So I'm gonna kinda of talk to you about a couple different ways you can do your brows and really I hope that I can give you something that you can really play with and try yourself and decide what is works best for you, okay? So to start out, I'm going to show you something, and this is not like a must have, but it's something that has really been hugely helpful for me. So I want to share it with you guys. Um, these are our, and I should have pulled out the rest of them down. These are the ones I use. Um, these are our brow stencils. When you purchase them, you get all five, I believe, of them, and they're fantastic if you need to, if you want to, like shape your own brows. Before I found these, I was like a, the queen of getting my brows waxed because I was terrified to shape my own brows. These things are really helpful. So I'm going to show you real quick how to use these just so you know, and then I'm going to show you these amazing brow products we have, okay? So what you do is you're going to put them around where you want your brow. You pick, because there's five different ones, what brow shape you want. I like brow shape too. Mm -hmm. um, so I am going to go ahead and just line this up right here and then what you're going to do is you pull out your uh, brow pencil or whatever you're using I should have opened this before I line it up and then uh, you're going to fill in now here's the deal as far as this goes it, the first time you're doing this if your brows are like incredibly out of control like mine have been many times you can, I don't care if you grab a purple marker and do this. Do it and then go through and pluck everything that is outside of those lines you just drew from the stencil. This is the easiest way to properly shape your eyebrows that you will ever have. I promise you. I absolutely love it. So, as you can see, I've used Brow Stencil 2 to shape my eyebrows and they are in the right shape now but they still need to be filled in if I'm not filling them in with the stencil. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys how to do that so that you understand how to do it even if you don't have a brow stencil. So basically what you wanna do, first thing to remember, your brows are sisters, they're not twins. They're never gonna get them to look exactly the same. It just never happens. So be okay with that. It's perfectly fine. My brows don't look the same, but they still look fantastic. You want to make sure they're filled in properly because if your brows are too sparse, they are going to age you. So you want them to look like nice, thick brows, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to go from the point you want to start at, which for me is right about here. You want it to be right on this line with the inside of your eye there. And you're going to make a sh like light line that goes from there up to the arch in your brow. So from there straight out, all right? Then you're gonna go do the same thing at the top. Now for me, I like to do a more natural looking brow, so I'm gonna take it and kinda of do just like a little semicircle at the end of that. Um, if you're going for a really modern brow, you can do like the harsh, the straight line. It's gonna look a little harsher, but it's a more modern look. I prefer the more natural look, so that's up to you. Then you're just gonna fill in between there, okay? So we're filling in that brow area, any areas that are a little sparse. Now your brows on this back side, after your arch, should come down to the line between your nose and your outer eye. So you can see, my brows just don't go down quite enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in right here, all right? And we're gonna take it down to where that line would be, okay? Now this is what I love about our brow liners and gels. You can buy them as a set and it is just the best set together to get a perfect brow. Look at how thin that pencil tip is. You guys see that? It mimics the look of the fine lines in your brow absolutely perfectly. On the other end of it is this adorable little spoolie. So a spoolie is super important when you're doing your brows. You wanna brush your brows straight up all the way to your arch and then from your arch, you want to brush down. If you have a really harsh line right here where you've built, uh, where you've started your brow and you want to soften it up a little bit, you can take that spoolie and just move that up a little bit to get that perfect line, okay? So you guys can already start to see where this brow is looking very nice and arched, just like I want it to be, and this other one's still looking a little messy. This is why we do this, right? So now I'm pulling out our brow gel. 
Our brow gel is really, really fantastic because it kind of acts as like a hairspray for your brows. So if you get a little bit of this on here, you're going to do the same motion that you did with your pencil. So you're going up until you hit the top of that arch and then you're going to go down from there. All right. And it's just going to really keep your brows in place. The other great thing about our brow gel is that it has very tiny fibers, just like our mascara has, which I'm going to show you guys in a couple days. Um, so it's going to fill in those areas and make them look really natural where you might not have as many brows. But it's fantastic as just a, for those of you like my brows are really, really thick right here and then really thin right here. And it works great for both areas because it keeps the thick parts right where I want them. And it fills in on the thin parts to make them look very realistic. So that is the easiest way to do a brow. I hope I've given you guys something to try. If you have any questions, let me know. Our brow gel and liner come individually or together and you can buy them in light, medium, or dark. So you've got some options there, and if I can help you pick one, you let me know. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.